is up you guys uh, this has been a long awaited anticipated video for you and me both um, I had filmed one like weeks ago it was like a little bag it was so cute I was like, I'm ready to go to the hospital and then I just did more research looking at checklists online and other people's videos and I was like okay I need a lot more so I feel like this is a lot if you think we're missing something of course with kindness please let us know in the comments below um, I think this is everything we need it seems like I said it seems like a lot and not a lot at the same time but um, so we're gonna pack our hospital bag I don't really know and a lot of people just do what's in my hospital bag but we're gonna pack it together because this is a lot of stuff um, there's a couple things missing right now uh, my ID and my insurance card I will pack that um, probably the day of I have it written down like at the top note of my phone and um, we also have her going home outfit which we're not going to show because it has her name so I have outfits for her but not her official going home outfit we're not showing that quite yet so um, all right let's just get packing we have quite a few bags so I don't know like I, I'm not really sure what's gonna fit so this is the mommy bag which is like so super cute we also have diaper bag toiletry bag and like a big bag for like pillows and towels and all the big stuff so I got this mommy bag, which is obviously a diaper bag. There's like a changing table. There's a place for like a bottle, like an insulated bottle in there. Um, so we're gonna bring this to the hospital. I have a lot of diaper bags. So this wasn't even considered to be one of those. I thought it was just a cute bag to bring to the hospital, but um, you best believe we'll use it as a diaper bag. Oh, you know what else I should add to the list? The tripod. <laughs> That's what I should add to the list of things to bring to. One second, because I'll forget. Okay, so I literally have at the top of what to pack because I don't want to forget. So, tripod. Okay, ID, insurance, going home with it, and tripod. Okay, because, you know, oh, and Gatorades. <laughs> we don't have any, but we're going to pick some up because we need some Gatorades after, after birth. Okay. <laughs> so, this is the mommy bag. Did I just say that? Sorry. It has been, like, it is literally, like, any day now while I'm packing this. I feel like I'm going labor right now, honestly. It's been, it's been one of those days. So, we don't need the scissors. I just brought this up in case I have to open things, which I probably will have to open. So, I'm going to just go ahead and start with um, the clothes. We have baby clothes here. So, it's so hard to where to start. I think because I have, they're just the bulkiest stuff sticking out right now, I'll start with the clothes for me and my husband. So, there's a lot here. Okay, I should probably downsize on clothes. So I have three nursing bras, which maybe I don't need three. See, this is good that I'm packing with you guys. Okay, this is my favorite one. This is one I got off Amazon. So, um, yeah, I think, you know what? If I'm being realistic, like, I feel like I only need, I'm going to try and nurse. Oh, gosh. Do I be safe and sorry? Okay, I'm going to leave one home because I do feel like I'm maybe packing a little excessive for me. So I have another nursing bra here. So I have two nursing bras that I'm gonna pack for myself. Um, I have two of these tank tops. And honestly, like I don't need two flannels. So I'm gonna keep a flannel at home because I don't know what I would need this for if I'm cold or if it's for going home or for what it is. But these tank tops are super comfortable and this flannel is super comfortable. So I'm definitely keeping those. Um, for like sleepwear, I have this little like, it's not a nighty. But this is another possible going home outfit. This is like leggings. So that's part of that. And then um, this could be like a sleep shirt or going home shirt or both. So I'm gonna put this as a sleep shirt. This is my robe for the hospital. So I'm gonna kind of put that in the sleep department. And then I really only need one pair of sweatpants because they're really, really bulky. These are my favorite, I had two. But they're my aloe joggers and I'm gonna just go ahead and just simplify my life and put one pair of joggers in there. Um, because I have leggings and joggers, so I'm definitely not gonna need both. I'm just trying to think like in the hospital what I'm wearing. <sighs> okay, so I'll put these as part of like a going home off, although I don't see myself wearing those home, but so they're kind of bulky as you can tell. I see myself wearing something like this to the hospital, my skim stresses. So it could also be a possibility of going home in that. I don't know. All right, because this is littler, I'm going to start with the bulky, which is my sweatpants and my leggings. I'm gonna pack those in there. I'm gonna try and keep all one side. So when I pack my husband's stuff, he has one, one side, excuse me. 
Okay, so I have it like packed in there. And he's so, he's so funny because he's helping me get all this stuff around. Like he's just, oh, mercy and frost. Um, <laughs> so I was like, just pack some like comfy clothes for you and, and some socks. Oh, he packed extra underwear. You know what? I'm going to make a note of that because I can't get up right now. But yeah, I should probably pack some extra underwear. A lot of extra underwear. So don't worry, y'all. I'm going to make a note of that too. And I never forget my notes. Let me tell you, those notes saved my life. Okay. So he has socks, underwear, I'm actually all of it, but he has a t-shirt and shorts, which is, he's very simple. I don't know if he's gonna wear the same outfit at home, I guess. I don't know, you know guys, maybe I'll pack an extra outfit for him. This is all he has. Um, so I guess that makes it pretty easy. I was gonna give him like a whole section of the bag, but I'm gonna just go ahead and put his right on top of mine because then we have this whole other section to put stuff in, which we have some bulky things, so. Um, all right, we have toiletries. These are the diapers. This is the other bulky thing that's like bothering me because it's like so just sticking out. So these are the adult diapers I got for postpartum, um, post delivery. I hope these are the right size. So I've seen people pack like pads. If that is something that you did and you loved it, let me know. I see a lot of people are like, it wasn't necessary. Literally everyone again in our like inner circle that we know personally, like no one packed like the hazel wipes. If it's something like I need, like let me know. I don't know, maybe it's too late by the time I see this video. But right now we're just going with diapers after. I'm trying to see the size of these. They look pretty big, they look pretty stretchy. I don't say the size, but I think he ordered like a double XL. Let me see. The 55 to 64 inch waist, I think they'll fit me, so. I don't know, I don't know how many I'll need of these. Like, is this a lot? I don't know. So we're gonna pack these. The other thing is they said to not pack diapers for your baby because they give you a bunch of diapers. Literally everyone we talked to said that, so part of me still wants to like pack diapers, but do you think that's enough? That's three, six, seven. I'm obviously gonna pack some extra undies. I don't know. Yeah, these were double XL. Okay, I'm gonna just pack some more. I don't know. Oh, I had to pee all the time. I just sat down and I just peed and sat down. Okay, so we're putting the diapers in there. Okay, we're gonna to fill this up with water, but we are gonna bring reusable water bottles. Um, I actually use this one right now, so I'm actually going to make a note of that as well to pack the water bottles. <laughs> Extra underwear. Okay. So I'm gonna keep this out for now, but we'll just go ahead and throw that in day of. This is for her, these are all her clean clothes. So we have hair brushes, clips, hair ties, I'll show you guys in a second. Um, this is from our last trip. We had a charger and a chapstick, which I might actually keep the chapstick in. I don't know if this will be my toiletries. I'm trying to see. We have a couple toiletry bag options. So I'm gonna just put all those there. We also have like a snack bag option. We have thank you cards for the nurses. So this kind of goes under like more delicate stuff, I guess. We have a tablet. We have thank you cards for the nurses. So we have a little Starbucks gift card for the nurses. So I have four. I hope that's enough. I don't know how many nurses. Maybe that's like overestimating nurses. I don't know. But we have the card and the tablet. So we're gonna kind of keep those out for now because I feel like that's gonna be like a special. Oh, my slippers. I got slippers from Target specifically for the hospital. They're really cozy. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put that with the clothing. Um, so we have our snacks over there. We have an extra pen. We don't really need an extra one because we have one right here. So that'll be for, that'll be for that. So we have our snacks back there. Up there is our towels and pillows, which I'll show you guys in a second. But we do have formula for her. Let me bring all her stuff down here. We have formulas for her, um, just in case I can't breastfeed. Hoping, but we also have some clean bottles. Okay. Um, and then we got a bunch of mini toiletries, so I'm gonna actually scoot all this stuff over here a little more so we can see better. All right, so we kind of consolidated things a little closer. So if you can see behind me, I packed towels and pillows in there because I was up and I was like, you know what, let me just stuff those in. They're a little too big anyways to show on camera and not that exciting. So, all right, I moved all the toiletries down so I'm trying to organize this now. This I think will be our like 
seriously our snack and drinks bag. We could actually probably pack even more snacks. I just feel like, once again, God bless my husband. He's the best thing ever. But I was like, some of these snacks, which I got for, I got the mini ones for delivery. But I was like, no, we need some like potato chips up in here too. Um, but we'll pack those downstairs. But we did pick out some really good snacks at Target. We like a lot of the same things. So I'm just packing like, there's these like pumpkin spice goldfish, some gummy worms. Oh my gosh, I've never used this bag. Okay, let's see. Oh, maybe I didn't. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is like it. This is like the last thing that I'm like, that I had on my list basically. So it's really crazy that it's just like coming. So by the time we see this, I don't know, maybe, we'll probably already be at the hospital delivering the baby, so I, I'm not sure. Um, so we're gonna put all the snacks in here, which we love our snacks. Like we can snack at home. On the road, we have like goldfish. I love the mini pouches. I did the mini pouches. We have big ones down here. We have his little Israeli snacks. <laughs> Got some Skittles. Yeah, we'll put like juices and like Gatorade in there too, because that. So this is our food bag. <laughs> Let us know if you have a separate snack. They said bring snacks, and you know we don't take we don't we don't mess around when it comes to snacks. Got some Dunkaroos. <laughs> I might even pack a peanut butter sandwich. I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna be hungry after. So we got that. I'm gonna put the coldest water and Gatorade. So this is kind of our snack thing. We don't wanna crush it. So we're going to go ahead and put this over here. Um, which we could almost put the thank you cards in with the snacks or will they get messy? Maybe we'll put those in with the baby thing. We'll see. Okay. We also have fans. We have another fan too. We have to charge. We've been charging them. Um, but basically this is like a mini fan and people are like, you really want this? either by your bed. We, you can also use it for a stroller after, so it's like double duty. But by your bed, so we got these mini fans. How do you turn it off? Okay. Got these on Amazon. Anything I got off Amazon is on my shop too. I always link my shop as the top link. It's my Amazon shop storefront, so you can just go directly, or if I remember, I'll link it. So we're gonna put the fan over here, because we actually do have room in here. So, put the pen. Ah, oh, pens like get everywhere though, don't they? Like pens are annoying. Do I actually, Need a pen, they probably have pens, but you know what, let's just put them in there anyways. And then the tablet too, we're gonna just go ahead and put, where should I put the, no, I'm gonna put this back here, okay. So we're gonna fit the tablet in here, on the side, okay, on the back. And then, I think I'm gonna put the cards on top, hopefully. Whew, we have toiletries to fit in here though, this might be getting kinda heavy. Let me see if this closes. This might be getting kinda heavy. If this is getting kinda heavy, we can put the toiletries in with the snacks, I think. So, we might put the cards in here, I think. Okay, and then we have her stuff, don't worry. We have the baby stuff too. So I think in this one, we're gonna just put all the toiletries. So we're gonna put like hair brushes, hair ties, this is like my favorite scrunchie ever. Hair clip. We also have a mini one for all the stuff that can get everywhere. So we have like soap. Deodorant, just anything that could possibly leak. We have our little toothbrushes, which normally we bring like full size, but because we're like staying, you know, like hopefully only a night or something at the hospital. I thought they were cute too. It's a celebration, right? Our baby's being born. I'm like, we can splurge on the mini, mini toothpastes and um, toothbrushes. So we're gonna put all of that in there. There's really, well, there's like not much in there then. But we'll put this in with it. Okay. Because we have a lot of hair stuff in here and hair brushes. We'll just put that inside of that so it's kind of consolidated. And then really just chargers, which I guess we just can put, we have chargers and headphones. And I'm just gonna put that in this bag right here just so they're separate. We can honestly throw them in there, but I think it's better. We got the extra long 10 feet chart. Hopefully they're 10 feet. Um, Supposedly, they don't look 10 feet. I got these off Amazon too, but I don't know. Let's see if they're even 10 feet. And we're like, you need to get the 10 feet charger. And I believe them because like, hey, I'm gonna be chilling in a hospital bed. Let's see. Try to untie them. Okay. I don't think that's a 10 foot charger. That does not look 10 feet. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I guess we'll figure it out. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll look online to see if there's like an extension cord. Like I said, it could happen any day, so I don't even know if it'll get here in time. So 
Alright, we got those. We got the cable boxes. So we have like three chargers. You know, we really only need two, but you know what? That's fine. Okay. So we have all the toiletries and everything packed. I'm thinking this is kind of bulky. Um, I'm trying to think here. Do I need that many diapers for myself? I'm gonna put the chargers in here with this bag and hopefully this zips because I think this spot is heavy as this. Oh no, the bag don't zip. Okay. <laughs> everything's cool, everything's fine. Let's see here. This might be over. No, it did stop. Okay. Wow. So this is the mommy bag zipped. My wrist hurts. That's the mommy bag all zipped up. And now we'll put the rest of our toiletries in here. I think, because we have room. I don't want to crush anything. Ooh. You know what? I'm gonna ask my husband. He's an expert packer, but I definitely don't want to crush the sticks. I don't think it will. Okay. I think I think I should restart with the stacks on top of this bag because when we get there, we can empty out the stacks, right? Yes. Okay. Let's redo this. All right. So we're going to put. The heavy on the bottom. And then think of a better solution. Because on the way back, we probably don't need all these. So now we're going to just put our snacks in. I have this on the floor, I guess. We have that at the bottom. All right, and then we'll put the snacks on top. And like water and drinks and all that stuff will come later. And this bag doesn't feel like such a waste now. There's some substance in it. All right, you guys. Whew. Got that in there. I can put a water bottle and some Gatorades and we're good to go. So that is our toiletry and snack bag. So we have all that. So we have our, yeah, here. Okay. So we have our pillows and blankets. We have our snack and toiletries. We have like mommy, daddy bag. Okay, and then last but certainly never least, the most important, the pride and joy is our baby bag. So we have our Prada diaper bag. So again, we have a going home outfit that's a little thicker, but all her stuff is so small and so tiny. So we do have Socks for her. Oh my God, these socks are so tiny. We have the socks. We have um, little mittens so she doesn't scratch herself. These are so small, I can't even get over it. Then we have um, cute little hair bows. We have this pink one. We have the strawberry one that matched my robe. And we have this, it actually matches another robe I have. I don't necessarily need this one. I'll keep this one here because we can put it back in her dresser. And then we got a couple different onesie sizes. We got a long sleeve Barbie one. This is um, this is three to six months. We have no idea how big she's gonna be. So we literally got every size clothing. So this is a long sleeve one, three to six months. Then we got a um, zero to three month like short sleeve one. This is a really big one. This is six to nine months short sleeves. I don't think she's gonna need that right away. And then we also have a matching swaddle to my robe <laughs> so um we have all that and then like i said we have a little going home outfit for her so we're gonna pack all that that's our options once again i'm hoping it's enough options but i think it's plenty but we should probably put this on top so we don't run into what we just happened formula <sighs> i hope we have enough formula i'm going by the like feeding rule every three hours so we have four here which would be 12 hours um hopefully the nurses will tell us if it's not every three hours we have another four, which is like, so that's three times, so wait, what? Three times four is 12, just 24 hours. We don't know how long we're gonna be there, and so I'm just gonna pack some more formula. This is instant formula. We have the, you know, powder formula here, but that's just the instant. So we're bringing that, we're bringing her two bottles, and then her pasties. So that's pretty much, I feel like, all I saw for baby, um, 
pretty low maintenance. I'm gonna go ahead and pack her clothes on top of these. And yeah, that's her little baby bag. And you know what? They did actually say to bring more, another bag for more diapers. So I don't know. I guess we could always just, I wonder if we need the towels. I guess they have them there. I really don't know if that's, so we could put the toiletries in that bag and then that could be like our to-go bag. Cause they were saying like, we'll have to readjust, we'll have to think. But I think maybe I'll bring one towel. Cause like if we both shower, I don't know what the situation is. If we both shower, like I know we can either share a towel or like he'll just use whatever towel they have there. So I don't know, I'll discuss. All right, so those are, that's my hospital bag. <gasps> that was way more. I had a cute little one just packed. I'm like, this is a few diapers, this is a few this, and I was like, no, 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 that's not right. So anyways, <laughs> this is a little bit untraditional, unconventional, what's in my diaper bag, but thank you for packing with me, and like I said, you can leave your comments below. I don't know if we're gonna probably be already done and done, but um, yeah, I think we're gonna, I'll have to make some room in these bags for some, you know what, make a note of that for some diapers, because they say they give you a bunch of newborn diapers and they grow out of those so quickly, so make room for a newborn. So I think, yeah, I think we'll just carry our pillows and maybe not do the whole towel thing, or just one towel. Oh, gosh. All right, guys, it's been a day. I love you guys so much. I don't, like I said, the baby's like here, I think at this point, so I'm ready. This felt good. This felt like the final thing we needed to prep, so yeah, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Ugh.